what is up everybody so um 2018 is here and there are a lot of movies that i'm looking forward to um in this year so um i wrote down a list of my top 10 most anticipated movies um of 2018 now this list is subject to change um you know we gotta see trailers and stuff like that but if you were to ask me today what is my most anticipated movies of the year then i would choose these okay uh i, I went back and forth you know um with these and um it took me a minute to decide what my top 10 are but before we do that I'm going to give you some honorable mentions, all right? Because there are there are, there are a lot of movies that I'm looking forward to this year. So, and uh, hopefully they're good. So, you know, uh, so here's here are a few honorable mentions, all right? That didn't make the top ten, all right? Uh, before I get started, I know there's probably going to be some people who are going to be butthurt or whatever. Uh, these are my opinions, all right? And um, I would love to know what are your top ten movies. Uh, most anticipated movies are in the comments. So please give me your top 10 in the comments, man. Uh, I really want to know. So, all right. All right, here are a few honorable mentions. We got Tomb Raider. Um, I'm really looking forward to that. That comes out in March. So uh, I think that is, I, I hope, I hope, I hope that is going to be good. I really like the trailer when it came out. And, um, you know, hopefully it's going to be good, you know. Um, Mission Impossible Six. Uh, there's been a whole lot of a whole lot of talk about Mission Impossible Six the last few months, um, pertaining a certain mustache. Damn. Uh, let me just say this. Um, it better be at least good. It better be, or else I'm gonna be pissed off. Um. Because it ruined a lot of things of a movie that I really wanted to love in Justice League. And, uh, you know, this movie better deliver. Alright? Um, I'm really looking forward to it. You know, huge fan of Tom Cruise. And I can't wait to see Henry Cavill join the uh, franchise. I love this franchise. So, it better be good. Or else I'm going to be pissed off. You feel me? So, yeah. Ant-Man and the Wasp. It didn't make the list. Um, I dug the first Ant Man. You know, it took me a couple watches to actually like it, but um, yeah, I dug it. I like Paul Rudd. Um, you know, I like Wasp or whatever her name is. Hope Van Dyne, I believe her name is. Uh, yeah, I'm looking forward. I'm looking forward to the movie. You know. Um. So yeah, I'm a fan of Michael Douglas. So yeah, let's bring it on. Let's go. The Maze Runner. I still gotta see the second one. I like the first one, so and I like the trailers that I've seen with this um this final Maze Runner movie. So I'm looking forward to it, you know. And it comes out in a couple weeks actually, I believe. So I gotta watch that second one. Uh, I believe it was called The Scorch Trials. I gotta watch that soon. X-Men Dark Phoenix. So this is the last time that Fox is going to be making an X-Men movie because if you don't know, the rights went back to Disney. Yeah. Y'all didn't get my reaction to that, but just know that I would have rather X-Men stay with Fox. You know, but it is what it is. Gotta deal with it. I can't do nothing about it. So, uh, but yeah, I'm looking forward to this movie. So hopefully it's good. Um, a lot of people didn't like Apocalypse. I didn't think it was that bad. Um, you know, so. You'll see. Mary Poppins. I am looking forward to Mary Poppins. I believe that comes out in December. Like the final week of 2018. So, we got ways away to go with that. Uh, I'm a fan of Emily Blunt. So, you know, I'll be checking that out. Pacific Rim. Uh, you know, I will be checking that out. That is, I, I really like the first Pacific Rim. I really like the look of it. 
uh, the, the effects were pretty good to me. So I'm looking forward to it. I, I wasn't crazy about the trailer, the first trailer that came out, but you know, uh, hopefully the movie is going to be good. My boy John Boyega is in it, so yeah. What else do we have here? New Mutants. This is a dark one right here. Um, I am looking forward to this movie. Um, you know, I did. I, I like the trailer, the first trailer. It was dark, really dark. And uh, I like that. I like to see some dark stuff from Marvel. So, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Oceans 8. I like the trailer that came out, uh, what was it, a week ago or two weeks ago? Uh, I really like it. All female cast. I'm a huge fan of Sandra Bullock, so I'm going to go see it regardless. And, um, you know, I, I really like the Ocean's Eleven movies and stuff like that. I don't think these are, um, you know, in the same universe or whatever. But I like the trailer that came out. I'm looking forward to it. So, yeah, let's do it. All right. Sicario 2. Um, I gotta be honest with y'all. I did not see the first Sicario. I will watch it. I promise you, I will watch it. Um, you know, but I've heard nothing but good things about it. So I had to put it on my list, you know, so and it's got a lot of great, it's got a great cast. So, you know, um, I'm, I'm going to check that out. I'm going to watch the first one as soon as possible. All right. Next up. This was in my top 10, but I had to scratch it off for something else, but The Predator. Um, yeah, I am looking forward to The Predator. Um, my boy Larry Fong is the um, cinematographer for this movie. You know, if you don't know who Larry Fong is, he works with Zack Snyder. Um, he did Batman v Superman. Uh, I believe he did Man of Steel as well. And... Uh, so yeah, you know this movie is going to be beautiful visually because Larry Fong is just a genius in that department, okay? So I'm looking forward to this movie. It's directed by Shane Black. So, you know, hopefully it's good, you know? Next up, we got the Han Solo movie. There's been a lot, a lot of negative vibes with this movie. They lost directors, you know, um, a lot of things, but hopefully in the end, it's a good movie, but, you know, it is what it is, um, I could care less if they made it or if they didn't, but, you know, I'm still gonna see it, um, you know, next up, A Wrinkle in Time, um, I really like the trailer that came out, uh, what was it, at Comic-Con, um, so, you know, I think, I think it's gonna do good. Um, it's always great when, um, you know, you got female directors making big budget movies. A woman of color is making this movie. So, um, that's exciting. And uh, the cast is great, too. So, you know, hopefully this is a good movie. Hopefully it delivers. And, uh, yeah. Now, there's probably some that I left off the list. And I'm sorry for that. All right. These are the movies that came off the top of my head. So, like I said, it's, this list is subject to change. Alright, now let's get to my top 10. <clears throat> this is probably going to be surprising to some of y'all. But, it surprised me too. But, this movie is um, quietly, quietly getting a phenomenal cast together. I'm talking about the Venom movie. Um, they already they already got my money when they cast Tom Hardy as a villain, um, Venom. So, you know, they, they got my money with that. And, um, you know, the cast is, you know, that they've got together is pretty damn good. So, you know, Hopefully the movie's gonna be good. Um, hopefully it's gonna be good. We shall see. All right. So Venom is number ten. Number nine, Creed two. I just remembered that this movie came comes out in twenty eighteen. Um, the first Creed was phenomenal in my opinion. 
Uh, Michael B. Jordan is one of the best working actors today. And, um, you know, he showed why in that movie. Um, I expect some great things out of this movie, too. And um, Sylvester Stallone, I'm looking forward to it, you know. It had to be on my list. I'm sorry. It had to. So that's number nine. Number eight. We got Jurassic World. The Fallen Kingdom. Yeah. Y'all know I love Jurassic Park and all that stuff. I mean, I love dinosaurs. So, it had to be on the top ten list. You feel me? Uh, I really liked the first one. And hopefully, this one will be better. You know? Uh, I dug the trailer. I didn't love it. But I dug it. And it's a lot of crazy stuff um, in that trailer that I liked. So, you know, them in that little bowl and them falling down and Chris Pratt's character running with all the dinosaurs. Man, that was crazy. So, we shall see. And I like the story. They're going with something different this time. So, that's interesting. That's interesting. Number seven, we got Deadpool 2. Now, I really like the first Deadpool. Deadpool is one of my favorite characters. I liked him before the movie. You know, I was a fan of him for a long time. I do kind of think the movie was a little overrated. Um, but I thought the movie was good. Um, I am looking forward to this movie. I cannot wait to see Josh Brolin as Cable. That's that's my main reason to go see this movie. Josh Brolin as Cable. I can't wait to see Domino in this movie as well. I forgot she was in it. You know, so. And of course, Ryan Reynolds is Deadpool. I mean, come on. If anybody was born to play a superhero, Ryan Reynolds was born to play Wade Wilson, Deadpool. So, you know, can't wait for it. Number six, Ready Player One. The trailers have been phenomenal in my opinion, you know. I'm really looking forward to this movie. Um, Steven Spielberg looks like he has another masterpiece in this one. So, um... You know, Ready Player One, um, when I first saw that first trailer at Comic-Con, you know, I was ready to give um, them Warner Bros. my money for that, you know. Hopefully, Warner Bros. don't mess with Steven Spielberg's movie like they did Zack Snyder's movie twice, which I won't forgive them for unless they give Zack Snyder another go at another DC movie. But just know, Ready Player One, when that comes out, you have my money, WB. Number five, another WB movie. And hopefully they don't try and mess with David, Ye David Yates' film. Fantastic Beast, uh, The Crimes of Greenwald. I don't have it with this camera. It cut off on me one more time I swear to God I'm gonna put it outside I'm gonna put it in the middle of the street and I'm gonna run it over with the car that's a fact Damn! I was middle I was mid speech and it cut off on me I don't know how many times it's gonna do it to me. Damn! so you got Jude Law is a uh, young Dumbledore so that's that that's pretty cool you got my boy Ezra Miller he's in there and I, I really liked the first Fantastic Beast movie. It wasn't the greatest, but it was it was a great first entry into the franchise. So I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, I can't wait till we get our first trailer. We've got a couple of uh, you know, stills from the movie, but yeah. Hopefully we get a trailer soon. We'll see. Um, number four. Uh, Incredibles two. You don't know how long I waited to see this movie, and it's finally coming. Oh my god, it's happening. It's happening! <laughs> Incredibles 2. Let me just give a warning to everybody out there. If you bring your little kids and they start acting up. This is a fact. I will kick them out of the theater myself. 
do you hear me? We've waited so long for a sequel for this movie. Don't bring your badass kids. Okay? They got to stay home. Alright? Alright. Now my top three uh, took me a minute to, you know, rank these on my most anticipated, you know, because I like these are my top three. These could easily be number one. All right. Don't get mad at me, y'all, please. Number three, Black Panther. Now, before the Avengers trailer came out, Black Panther was my number two. OK, but. Man, that Avengers trailer was off the chain. Jesus Christ. Well, Black Panther is going to be off the chain. It's going to be on like a pot of nut bone. And when the credits roll for that movie, it's going to leave me saying, Shucky Ducky Quack Quack. Man. Like, crazy. This movie's going to be off the chain, man. I mean, there's nothing else to say. Um, you know, the cast is lit. I can't wait. It's almost here. It's, 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 it's January. Black Panther comes out in a month. That's crazy to think. Like, I can't believe it's, it's basically almost here. I just hope it delivers. I think it will deliver. I, I mean, I'm just so excited for this movie. I can't wait. I can't wait. Black Panther was literally my favorite thing about Captain America Civil War. And I didn't even like Captain America Civil War. To be honest with you. Uh, but yeah, man. It's going to be on. It's going to be lit. Uh, yeah. So that's number three. Number two. Don't be mad at me, y'all. All right, number two. Avengers Infinity War. What? I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying. I'm a DC fanboy right now. That's what you're all saying. Whatever. Uh, you can say what you want. Um... Avengers Infinity War is going to make all the money in the world. This movie is going to be awesome. It's going to be home like a pot of neck bone off the chain. Shucky ducky quack quacks everywhere. Bro, what are you talking about, man? I can't wait. Um, I think this movie is going to be... <laughs> if Thanos start throwing jokes, man, start cracking jokes, that's just going to throw me out of the movie, really. I hope he don't start cracking jokes. That's just gonna suck so bad. Um, this movie has a chance to be the best Marvel movie of all time. If it's not too comedic, I hope not. And um, you know, a lot of people think that either Iron Man or Captain America is gonna die in this movie. That would suck so bad, man. We've literally grown up with these guys. With Chris Evans and um, Robert Downey Jr. as these characters, man. That's crazy, man. That's really crazy. I don't think anyone's going to die. And if somebody does die, it's probably going to be a character that we don't care about. Um, The trailer made it seem like Vision is going to be one to go. I don't know if that's going to happen. Um, But... Uh, I really hope they don't kill Iron Man off or Captain America. That'd suck. But if you do kill some somebody off, let's say Captain America. <clears throat> Here's how I'd have him die. I mean, y'all saw Captain America Civil War, right? Come on now. There's no way that Iron Man could ever forgive Steve Rogers. You know? Unless... Steve Rogers... Sacrifices his life to save Tony Stark. That's a way. That's that's a pretty good way to go out, right? I mean, yes, a tear, like crying and shit, but you know, 
if if they were to kill Cap off, that's how I'll do it. But I mean, this movie has you know so many characters in it, man. You know, this could be the best thing ever, or this could be a flop. Like there are so many characters in this movie. You got Spider Man, Jesus Christ. You got Spider Man, Black Panther, Hulk, Thor, the Guardians of the Galaxy, Iron Man, Captain America, Winter Soldier, Black Widow, um, Scarlet Witch. I think I said her already. I don't know what it is. Vision. Um, Hulk guys in this movie, but I don't think he was in the trailer. I think you got Ant Man is in this movie as well. I think Wasp is in this movie too. I think. Um, like. There's literally so many characters. I believe, um, uh, what's his name? Sam Jackson's character is in this movie as well. I think he is. I don't know. Uh, yeah. War Machine's in this movie as well. So it's crazy to see War Machine back in action. Like, didn't he get paralyzed or something? But yeah, man. Uh, this movie's gonna make a billion dollars probably in like a week or two. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Um, but yeah, that's number two. I know you're all surprised. You know? I expect this to be on everybody's number ones. But for me, the number, my most anticipated movie of 2018 is James Wan's Aquaman. I dig it. This is a superhero movie that we've never seen before. Underwater stuff, man. You know what I mean? It's just gonna be crazy. This is gonna be awesome. You know he's gonna bring his horror stuff to it. He said that at Comic Con two years ago. Um, it's long as long. I'm praying to God that Warner Bros. just lets James Wan work his magic and don't mess with his movie like they did with Zack Snyder twice. Which still pisses me off, man. And I still want that Zack Snyder Justice League cut. Alright? But as long as they, you know, back the hell away from this movie. This movie is going to be awesome. It's going to be great. You know? Um, I'm already a fan of Jason Momoa's Aquaman. Uh, I like the little bits of pieces that we saw of Amber Heard's mirror. I'm looking forward to Voco. Um, they cut him out of Justice League, which pisses me off. Um, I'm looking forward to Ocean Master, um, being played by Patrick Wilson. And I'm really looking forward to Black Manta. Whew. There's a lot of things that could go right with this movie as long as Warner Bros. just stay away. Stay away. But yeah, that's my top 10 movies of 2018. My in, my most anticipated movies, not my top 10. Um, you know, so what are yours? Give me your top 10 most anticipated movies in the comment section down below. Let's talk about this. I'm excited for all of these movies, man. You know, uh, hopefully they're all going to be good. Hopefully they're all going to be good. Um, they're probably not, but you know. Um, it's a lot of superhero movies that's come out in 2018, man. It's a shame we only got one DC movie that's come out in 2018, you know what I mean? But it is what it is, you know. Uh, Warner Bros., if you watch this video, I want three DC movies in 2019. You hear me? Alright, Shazam, The Batman, and Wonder Woman 2. Let's do it, alright? But, uh, yeah, man, Marvel's killing it, man, like always, you know. And, uh... I'm looking forward to these other movies, man. Come on, bring it on. I'm ready to go. Um, pretty much all these movies got my money. You know? So. Like I said in the beginning of the video, this list is subject to change. But if you ask me right now what are my most anticipated movies are, it's these. So, yeah. If you like this video, click the thumbs up button. Make sure you click that subscribe button. I have a goal of a thousand subscribers and beyond. So, join the family. It's going to be lit. I promise you. We're going to have fun this year. Alright? You want to follow me on social media? Those links will be in the description down below. I'll see y'all in the next video.